Hello YouTube. I wrote this today and I thought I'd see how it sounds out loud. Christian zombies, what the fuck? JC was convinced that he was living in the end times. He was well versed in the apocalyptic apocalyptic writings that promised the coming of the Messiah and many wondrous and terrible things. He believed that the dead would one day be returned to life because it was written long ago. Twenty centuries later, believers are still eagerly awaiting the end of reality. By claiming that he had power, the power of resurrection and other magic, J.C. was passing himself off as a messianic prophet the supernatural heir to the heavenly throne of Solomon, the once and future ruler of God's earthly kingdom, Jerusalem. That's what J.C. was really after. All he had to do was make a name for himself. So he took his magic act on a road. With John the Baptist dead, many bumpkins were desperate to find somebody new to follow around. King Herod had heard about him, since by now his name was well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has risen from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Others said, he is Elijah. Others again, he is a prophet, like the prophets we used to have. But when Herod heard this, he said, this is John, whose head I cut off. He is risen from the dead. Mark six fourteen sixteen. This is how rumors turn into religion. I think JC was orchestrating events ahead of time to make his magic work. He was always coming into town just in time to pull off a miracle. Here's a fine example. And when Jesus saw that a crowd, had, a crowd was gathering, he rebuked the unclean spirit. Deaf and dumb spirit, he said. I command you, come out of him, and never enter him again. Then it threw the boy into violent convulsions and came out shouting. And the boy lay there so like a corpse that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and helped him up, and he was able to stand. Mark nine twenty-five through 27 See how eager the crowd was to pronounce the lad a goner? How can we trust these witnesses? Consider the following miracle. It happened that soon afterwards he went to a town called Nain, accompanied by his disciples and a great number of people. Now, when he was near the gate of the town, there was a dead man being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable number of the townspeople was with her, when the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her, and he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the buyer, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I tell you, get up. And the dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Luke seven eleven through 15 Pretty amazing. I am not impressed. This miracle could have been easily hoaxed. An ancient con job. See Elmer Gantry or Steve Martin's Leap of Faith sometime. Especially Leap of Faith. When Jesus reached the official's house and saw the flute players with all the crowd making a commotion, he said, Get out of here. The little girl is not dead. She is asleep. And they ridiculed him. But when the people had been turned out, he went inside and took her by the hand, and she stood up. And the news of this spread round the countryside, Matthew 9, 23, 26. Not to mention the raising of Lazarus, found only in the 11th chapter of John. All these, sto uh, all these stories could have been staged, considering the gullibility of his followers. Now consider the following. And going into Peter's house, Jesus found Peter's mother-in-law in bed feverish. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to serve him. That evening, 
they brought in many who were possessed by devils. He took out, he drove out the spirits with the command and cured all who were sick. Matthew 8, 14 through 16. So far, so good. JC can handle everything thrown at him. He has proven his, his mastery over life and death to everybody. Now consider the following. Another man, one of his disciples, said to him, Lord, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus said, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their dead. Matthew 8, 21-22 What the fuck? Jesus can raise the dead, even after several days, as in the tale of Lazarus, but he doesn't offer to do likewise as a favor to one of his trusted disciples? This stinks to high heaven, folks. Maybe J.C. wasn't able to do anything for the old guy because he was really dead and not a plant. What is J.C. saying about leaving the dead to bury the, their dead? Sounds pretty cold to me. Is he saying that this unnamed disciple's family are dead, uh, uh, are left to bury the dead dad, are dead to him? What the fuck? Sounds like a cult to me. And I made it through.